Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, I have a super cool one for you guys. We're gonna be unboxing and taking a look at the Sane Logic weather station. This is the WS0835 plus base station with color display and outdoor sensor. Here is what the box looks like. I had to show you guys the box, even though it barely fits in frame here. I thought it looked so cool. Um, it's a very nice looking box, but yeah, let's go ahead. I'm going to crack it open. and I'm going to show you guys what's inside. All right, guys, a quick look inside the box. I'm not going to bore you guys with too much of the details here, uh, but here is the screen. Realistically, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just run through all of this. I'm going to cut the video. I'm going to go set this thing up. I'm going to show you guys the setup. And then after a couple weeks, I'm going to show you guys the data and it's all going to be inside of this one video. So you don't have to skip around to other videos. You can just watch this one. Here is the screen. That's what it looks like. Set that to the side. Got a warranty card here and we'll take that out. Here is the actual unit itself. Got some screws and it looks like a mounting bracket. So I'm going to have to find a spot to mount this one. Typically when we review these, uh, they come with like a tripod stand. It doesn't look like this one does. So we're going to have to find a spot to mount it, but I will go do that. And then we will be back with the video once I have it all set up and I'll show you guys how it looks. All right, guys, so we are back in and here is the Sane Logic dashboard. This is what you get to set up uh, pretty much in your house, wherever you want to be able to see all of your weather data. This is what it looks like. I know it's kind of hard to see with all these studio lights, but trust me, it looks really good in normal lighting. It's plenty bright. The viewing angles are pretty good as well. You can see this one's not as good as this one. So you will find that shouldn't be too much of an issue though. So let's quickly go over what you've got here. So you get your date, your time, your day of the week, the moon phase up there as well, wind direction, as well as the miles per hour gusts and average speed. You also have, you know, sunny, partly cloudy, what the weather conditions are. You also have a barometer, which I have switched to HPA, rain in inches per hour. But of course you can change that. It doesn't have to be inches. 47.3 degrees Fahrenheit outside. You can see it's dropping. Uh, the humidity is steady at 67% relative humidity. And then indoors, it's 73.2 with 50%. Uh, and both of those are steady. Now it could change because I am carrying this thing around and moving around the studio. Let's take a quick look around the device. So I'm going to unplug it here and you will see that the device dims, but it is still actually on. You really can't see it on, in the studio. Maybe you can see it right there. Very hard to see, but it is still on. That is the battery backup kicking in. Let's take a look around the device. So we got set, we got alarm. So we got snooze lights right here, channel and min max, nothing on the side here. It is kind of set up and built. It feels like an alarm clock almost uh, from the top portions here. And then on the bottom, nothing here. You got your little pop out stand and that's it. So let's go ahead and plug it back in because you're not supposed to leave it on battery too long. Of course you can light up the screen <laughs> before it's plugged in like I just did on accident there. But let's go ahead, plug it in, there we go. So we're good to go now. Now I'm gonna throw in a quick clip of what it looks like outside. So let's do that right now. So you can see it does look like just your average uh, weather station and it does have a lot of the great features. This one here in particular does not have the Wi-Fi sync or the app. They do sell one that does have that. And for the price, I mean, this one is one of the cheapest on the market that gives you, you know, a really nice display. You can check our channel for other weather station reviews. We've reviewed some that are twice this price uh, and they have a little bit of a nicer display in my opinion. But if you just want something basic that doesn't go to the cloud, uh, this might be the one to check out for you. The screen looks really nice, gives you all the information you need. It's relatively accurate as well. I did notice the indoor temperature was about, I think, two degrees high on average, um, but the relative humidity was spot on as well as the outdoors. All of that is good. Barometer, I didn't see a way to set that. It kind of just sets it on its own. Everything else seems pretty precise. I do actually like how they do the wind on here. I like this little graphic better than some competitors. You can see it kind of moving right now, even though there's not much wind. There's actually hardly anything out there right now. It's pretty calm. But yeah, that's really all there is to it. It's a very nice station. You just kind of set it and forget it. You can set this pretty much anywhere you want. Personally, I have it near a hallway where I can just glance at it as I walk past to see what I need to wear for the day. I can see how much rain has fallen uh, and you can change these metrics as well. You also can dim the screen. So one, two, three. So there's three different dims, this one, this one, and this one. 
I like mine to be all the way to the top. If I press this button up here, I can see the maximum and minimums. So here is the max that I have seen for some of these different values. And here's the minimums so far. And let's just say I wanted to see uh, the rain totals. I could press the set button right here on the side and it will go into the set mode. So I'll press it again until I get here. And then I'll go ahead and press up at the top here, this min max button. And there we go, I've got the totals. I can also go back to the month, the week, and the 24 hours uh, and the one hour. So I can change the view however I see fit. If I press that again, I can go up to the barometer. Again, I can change that uh, to absolute or relative. If I press that again, it goes over to the temperature. Now you can also set alarms on this device as well. I'm not gonna go too far into that here. And if you go ahead and hold this button, you can go in and set the different, like if you didn't want HPA, maybe one of the other metrics, or if you didn't want inches, you wanted centimeters, you can change that. Uh, maybe you wanted centigrade here, you can change that as well. Very customizable, but this is one of the basic and more simplistic ones on the market. This is not for the super hardcore weather geeks. Those ones might want some of the other ones with the add-ons. This one is just a set it and forget it type thing. If you just want something that looks good, doesn't break the bank and just works. I've had zero problems with this unit so far in testing and it's worked great. I love being able to just glance up, see the moon phase. It's always a nice vibrant screen, which I also enjoy. It might be kind of hard to see in the studio here because I got so many lights on it, but just in your general setting, this looks really good. So if you want to pick one of these up guys, I will have it linked down below in the description. Definitely check out our channel if you want to see other weather station reviews. But overall, this one is really good for the price if you're looking for just something basic to get you started maybe. And Sane Logic does sell a couple of other ones that are a little higher in price, like some with Wi-Fi connectivity. So check those out as well. If you liked the video, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.